All right, here we go. All right, here, here it is. Let's see. I don't remember everything that happened in this run, so I'm just going to kind of be reacting. All right, that's a good kill there. Also, let me know if the audio is weird. That's a good kill there. That's a good kill. 30 seconds killing that guy. That's actually extremely quick. Normally like 32. That could have been a little better. It was decent though. Decent uh, first room. How yeah, about the boss fight? This boss is pretty... There's not much that can go wrong here. It's basically impossible to miss him and he can't really kill you either. basically just stand here and pummel him. Oh, he did give me two lasers. That's very uncommon. He always starts with laser, but he doesn't always... He doesn't normally do it a second time. Normally he does some other attack. And a triple. I'm gonna kill him before the third one. That is a decent first level. Very solid. Yeah, plus one is fine. I think that level was really good in my PB. Or my old PB. So I'll take plus one second there. Yeah, let's see. Pretty sure I bumped into like a thousand corners in this level. Alright, there's one. That was bad. Okay, I got the boost off that enemy to make up for it a little bit. Got that one as well. Okay, good corner there. Well, this corner. This is the other deadly corner. Ah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> I stopped. And you got a boost off that guy. Definitely got that boost. Definitely got that boost. Okay. Alright, this is at below average a little bit. But I think in my old run, I... In my old PB, I went and got an extra missile testing to see if it was faster, and it's definitely not, so... so this guy keeps giving me laser, although I want him to give me something else. I want him to electrify the water or shoot missiles, because both of those, I don't have to move to dodge, and I can keep hitting them and it saves a little bit of time, but I'll just sit here and pummel him. Yeah, this is a this is a restream. I recorded the vid I recorded this without my mic on. So I'm just talking over this because I don't remember exactly what happened. Yeah, the, the I am live, hello, yes. There's uh no voice on this recording because I just I was recording just the gameplay and game audio. Right, firecracker. This level is very easy. You just lose time everywhere if these if you don't break these things optimally. Okay, that's a good start. This first room is probably the easiest of the three. That's a very okay. That's a very good first room. Okay, good row of five. Okay, good grenade. Took out all seven of those. Oh no, that's that's horrible. I can't believe I didn't reset over that. I reset over that all the time. That's a really dumb mistake. A few seconds lost. Okay, got both of those. It wasn't super clean though. Oh, these three. That was alright. Okay, get this grenade. Okay, that platforming is clean. I always screw that up. Yeah, that was kind of bad. I don't know. That that was just a waste of time there. That was dumb. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, and didn't get the missile charge here? Wow. I honestly can't believe I kept going after that level. That was a travesty. Alright, this boss is pretty straightforward. It's really hard to die here. You just, like, strafe and hit his foot. And you pummel him. And actually continuously hit him when he left the ground, which is kind of hard to do, because uh, he, your missile, your gun range moves around a little bit when he's in the air, so you can't always hit him. You have to be at like specific distances to get him. 
And I only lost one second of my PB there, even though I easily lost five seconds in that level. Alright, this is the first auto scroller. It's boat level. Gotta kill both those guys. So this guy, you want to let him attack you once first. Because if you try and jump and dodge the first attack, you actually bump into him and he'll stay in front of you. And then he slows you down. But if you wait for him to attack you first, he'll always miss. And then he gets behind you. And it's much easier to dodge his attacks if he's behind you. Because you can hear them coming. And more boat guys. Same thing with this guy. So I let him attack me once. And he misses. And now he's behind me. And in this auto scroller, there's two bombs, so I want to pick up both of those um, because they're ex you, bombs are obviously good on every boss, and if you can get them without losing any time, it's even better. A lot of enemies here, but my health is still pretty good. Here's the boss fight. So you have to you have to destroy at least one of these little boats to be able to attack the big boat. And the big boat's the real boss. So you kind of just like use a grenade on one and then pummel it. And then it completely ignore the second one. Okay, this is pretty good here. This guy can move kind of away from you and you can just like not be damaging him for periods of time, which is really bad. Okay, this is still pretty good. Okay, see, see, he moved out of my range there. That's bad. That's the timer off when I kill him. 58. And it's not that great. You can kill him with, like, 61 on the clock there. Not, not a great fight. But. Close to a best segment somehow, but not, not a great fight. Alright, here we go. No missile charge. Great. Great start. Well, the blade attack twice is good. Well, three times. That's, re that's really good, actually. If he does, like, the attack where he, like, explodes the ground, that loses more time because he can't teleport away until after he finishes the whole animation. Alright, get that bomb while I'm waiting for him to move to the next location, which is this room, and then I'll get this other bomb and take these guys out so they aren't in my way. Okay, see so what he does here. Okay, he immediately does that. That's good. You don't want him to do that second. If he's going to do that, you want him to do that first. Well, then he gives me the blades. All right, good. Good phase two there. Let's pick up that free health. And destroy that guy. There's a lot of time before he gets here, so you can actually take out all three of these enemies. So do that. Now there's another grenade here that I can pick up, so I want to actually use a grenade here because it will end the phase almost instantly. So it's like, boom, grenade. And then when he's done backflipping, I think he just is done. Yeah, it's over. I'm going to go get this grenade. This is a much shorter journey, so I'm only going to kill this guy. And then not even go near the other guy. And then here I'm actually going to do the same thing. I'm going to grenade again here. Then this will just instantly end the phase and I can go to the end fight. It's a little better to do that because it eliminates some RNG because you can eliminate your your all this is damage that is being dealt to him, so it doesn't really matter when it's dealt. Okay, and now you just like shoot at him and you have a couple grenades and you pummel him. Whatever whatever attack he uses here doesn't really matter. You just gotta kinda keep an eye on your health, but my health is super high. That was actually a very good level. Very, very good. I think this was the best segment. Oh yeah, by like five seconds, damn. That was a really, really, really good level. Alright, another auto-scroller here. This one's much easier. The boss on this one is much more consistent. It's much easier to kill super quickly. It's like the other one I want to get. Try and keep my health up, only killing really these motorcycle guys. 
Um, and then I'm going to keep my health up, and there's two bombs on the path, so I need to get both of those. And the music here is really good. So this first bomb, it's hard to see, but it's right on this white dotted line. So there's a lot of explosions there, but I grabbed the grenade like right through the dead guy there. These helicopters are kind of annoying, because they hit you a lot, but they do so little damage it doesn't really matter. Like you can see, it's only taken like 3% of my health or something every time one hits me. And they just explode on overpasses throughout this level, so you don't have to worry about really killing them. And there's a health pickup here anyway, so now I'm basically at like 95% health. And that helicopter again died, you just heard it. So I'm kind of strafing there, trying to avoid the helicopter. But it doesn't matter because this uh, this path here is faster. And there's a health pickup and a weapon on it. So it's just like th obviously the best, best way to go here. So now I'm at basically full health and I have three bombs. And so now I can fight this boss. And this boss has three parts as well. First part, this guy like takes chunks out of the highway, so I just immediately grenade. And I don't even care about the damage here because I'm at full health and I just kill him like instantly. Second guy I kind of charge up some missiles for. Not a full charge. And then pepper him and then grenade him as well. And he's gone. Now the truck, I just pummel it. And at one point it's going to like drive away from me and then stop. And when it stops is when I want to grenade it because then I can just kill it instantly. So it's coming back to me, and grenade, and boom, he's dead. Pretty solid level. It's hard to lose time on that level, it's really easy. Definitely the easy, easiest of the auto-scroller levels. Alright, this level is kind of like the first level, I have to kill four things and then go fight the boss. So these guys I'm just going to like charge up missiles for. And then stand right next to him and pummel him. And I'm holding both strafe buttons here, so the moment he dies, I can drive right through him. Okay, jump off the building. Get a good charge in there, got all six. Break this guy, and then get the grenade that's right under him. It's barely out of the way, and grenades are really good, so it's worth it if it's like one second out of the way to get one. Okay, got four missiles charged on that guy, it's pretty good. And then I can charge for this guy as I'm jumping down to him. And I got four on that guy as well. That's really good. And then pick up this health. And this missile. Or this grenade, rather. And now I'm fighting this guy. Start with the missile charge before he even falls down. Because I can use it immediately. And then just pummel this guy. Um, he can do an attack where he jumps, which loses a little bit of time. Because you can't hit him the whole time he's doing that. Um, every other attack, you can just pummel him, though. Like, fire is a really good attack. This attack causes some lag, but I have a ton of health, so it doesn't matter. This is a really, really good boss fight. Really, really good. Alright, so this level is... The level is one of the quickest, especially for being kind of mid-game. This level is super short. So get this grenade here. That movement was kind of crappy. Enemy boost. Get this grenade. And then there's four enemies in this room, but if you just grenade, you don't even have to stop. You just go straight through. And then a little bit of a tricky section here to get a tight turn. Perfect. Pretty clean level. Now this boss can... Uh, it's actually pretty hard um, because you don't want him to go on the wall. I, it seems that like if you strafe, like the like if he strafes to your left, you go to the you strafe to the left. If he strafes to your right, you go to the right, and that keeps him on the ground. This is really good. He hasn't gone on the wall yet, and he normally goes on the wall like on an average like twice per fight. Ugh, almost got the kill. Alright, so I just have to charge up like one missile and he's dead. That would have been insanely good if I could have killed him when he was on the ground. It's extremely rare that he doesn't go on the wall at least one time. 
Still a really good level though. This is another pretty easy level. Nice boost off that tank there. Yeah, that was a good boost except I hit the corner so it didn't really do me any good. I got this like 25 minutes ago offline. So if you jump over this elevator, you skip this auto-scroller section, and you can just go down here at full speed. It saves a bunch of time, and it's very, very easy. Oh, damn. That's pretty good. Alright, so this boss, there's eight pillars. The strategy I use is I weaken most of them. Every pillar you destroy, the boss attacks you more. So what I do is I go around, I get all these pillars at like 25% health. So I get the first six at like 25% health, then I grenade the last two, and then I just go around and kill all the pillars like at once. And that minimizes the amount of time the boss is attacking me. So there's grenade that guy, that's number seven. Grenade that guy, that's number 8, and now I, now I start back at the first one, and all these die really quickly, because I've already pummeled them while the boss was not doing much. So I can just go through here really quick, and he, he his attacks ramp up, but I'm not standing in one spot for very long, so I can just quickly go through here. Pretty good boss fight. Lost a little bit of time, but that's fine. This is a pretty difficult level. Probably the most difficult boss fight as well. Alright, so I'm gonna get this grenade here. Ugh! Ugh! Okay, I got stuck on that enemy. That's not good. So that's a couple seconds, but the grenade is worth it. Okay, got a boost off that guy. Stuck on that guy. It's not good. Let's see. Nice tight corner here. Alright. Little, little below average there. Let's see. Got the boost off that guy. Let's see how this one goes. Ooh, really quick grenade grab there. See, no boost. Okay, I got one of the two boosts there. Don't think I got that boost. Got a boost off that guy. Got through that hallway. So this is kind of low health for this boss. This boss can just obliterate you. Um, so the strategy here is something I kind of recently thought of, is you stay on the ground level here and let them both come to you, and then when they're both standing near you, you can just grenade them and do twice as much damage. So after you triple grenade, you get on the ceiling here, because it's much easier to hit these guys on the ceiling, or fight these guys from being on the ceiling. And then you basically just pick one and start hitting it and strafing around it so you don't get hit by its attacks. And you want to focus on one, because it's much easier to fight one rather than two, but if one starts, like, jittering around on you like that, I just switch to the other one. Just because I need to constantly be doing damage. Like, it doesn't really matter which one I'm hitting, as long as I'm constantly doing damage, that's fine. It's like, that's really good. That's the best attack, where he shoots a couple bombs onto the floor there. Well, that guy's already dead. That's really good. Ooh, okay, that's a good attack. Okay. Well, that's the that's the attack I want. I want him to do more more of that. Yeah, good, good. That was a really good boss. You can lose a lot of time on that boss fight if you aren't careful, or if you get unlucky and they keep just spazzing around all over the place. Really good level. All right, this is another hard level. But it's got some really fun movement. Start with a boost off that guy. A little awkward on the movement there, not super crisp. Get the grenade, because it's right in my way. Get this health pickup, because it's right in the way. 
Now the two now mine shaft one. Just strafe 180. Kill that grenade. Jump down. Okay, got a boost. Oh, that was a really good boost. Two really good boosts there. Get this other grenade. Another good boost. Okay, kill that guy and then jump out here and then jump over this guy. That was a super crisp level. For being that short, that level is very, very difficult movement-wise. All right, so something I found while practicing today, when this guy does this attack, if you sit up right next to him, he doesn't hit you. So you just basically sit right in this guy and pummel him. And then I grenade twice on phase one here, just because I think it's easier to hit him with the grenade on phase one. And then I charge up some missiles for phase two here. Hit that guy with some rockets, jump and grenade. And then I've got so much health here, I can just pummel this guy. Like, I don't care that he pummels me, because I can just pummel him back. So that was an exceptionally good level. So I looked over at my timer right now, and I was really nervous. Um, because I'm thinking like, oh wait, my PB is 40 seconds off the record, and I'm 41 seconds ahead. So, I was going to play safe in this level, but now I'm just like, alright, this is this could be the run, I have to go for everything. So make that jump, get the grenade, and now the super YOLO movement. You just jump on, go through here without stopping. Any mistake there and you're dead. Get a boost off that guy. Get the grenade, screw the health because my health is good, and let's go. It's this boss has a bunch of attacks you can do. The only one you really don't want is one where he slams the ground because it's the hardest one to hit him while he's doing it. This is a good attack. That's and even, that's probably the best attack where you just shoot, shoot the machine gun. Yeah, that's the attack you don't want. Okay, so now phase two. So he starts teleporting. Now, I found with this boss is if he's up against the edge of the arena, he won't teleport. So I just sit here and just wail on him. And he doesn't move. In our final section, you just start hitting him and hold strafe and just mash the hell out of square. And he can't hit you and you're hitting him the whole time. And you have plenty of time to do this. And time is when his health is gone. So right about now. And so that's world record. <laughs> so I did one offline run of this and I beat the record by eight seconds. <laughs> Not not a 22, but that was like a really, really good run. Like, even though it wasn't a 22, I'm really happy with this time because it was extremely well played. And I got pretty decent luck, too. But a really, really good run. Yeah, I went with the YOLO just like... I was trying to figure that out the other day. I was like, you could save like a few seconds if you just went crazy here. Um, how hard is it? I'm dropping some frames right now, but um, and and it ended up it wasn't that bad. Um, and I tried to figure out like a decent timing to it, and, like a decent spot. And I was like, oh, I found I, I I get that like I would say four out of five times I get it, maybe even more. Um, Sorry for hemorrhaging frames right now, but... And then, so I was just like, alright, screw it, I'm going for it. Like, this could be the run, so let me just get go for this, and if I get this, it'll, like, definitely be the run. And then I got a super good boss, because I got him to teleport. It seems like if that guy's up against the edge of the arena, the final boss, he will not teleport if you're between him and the edge. He'll just sit there. Um, and so I got super lucky with him doing that. Um... And I'm, yeah, really happy with, really happy with this run. Like, even though it wasn't a 22, like, I'm, I'm gonna stick with that until it gets beaten. 
because I don't want to try to have to beat that because it was really, really good. Especially that ending. That ending was insane. Those last three levels were insanely good. So that's Ghost. That's Ghost in the Shell. Twenty three oh five. Still beatable, but like you would need an exceptionally good run. You'd also need to get pretty darn lucky too. Like that probably would have been a twenty-two if the um, if that one boss hadn't uh, jumped on the wall. I don't know how much time that lost me, but it was a decent amount. Um, that and then maybe a better firecracker level. Like those are the two big time losses. Like I I fell down in firecracker in the second room, so. Those are like those are the those are the time saves of this one. That's that's how you get a twenty two. This game is really fun to play. The movement is awesome. Especially in that last level, like if you go full YOLO like I did there, and you just go through the whole level without stopping, it feels super, super satisfying if you nail it. And then you get this bonus image for 100%ing the game, or beating the game without dying, rather. So that's it, that's Ghost in the Shell. World record. Yeehaw.